get someone here who want to marry here. On pastors, let me get someone here who want to marry here. Let me, this one stood up. Uh, let me pray for this man. You stood up first. Where do you come from? From Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria. Yes. But there's a lady there. In Nigeria. At home. Huh? No, but we, huh? dis we disagreed. You separate? Yes. Where did you separate? Before I left. Were you not speaking with her? No. When you are here? On WhatsApp. She was on WhatsApp you were talking? No, she was talking to me on Facebook. Was, huh? Yeah, on Facebook. So how did you separate? I mean, because this lady still love you. I don't, I don't know. You, you, you told her that you don't want her again? I didn't did tell her anything because I don't know where so she is. So how can you say you separate? I don't understand this. Because I'm seeing you together. And I'm seeing you are talking. Huh? Yes, sir. It's not true. It's true, sir. Huh? Yeah. You must be careful. Remember, there's someone who disappointed you. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And uh, now you'll be looking around here. Looking around here. Because you want to marry here. Yes, sir. And uh, here you have not finished at home there. This is a problem. You have not finished at all. In fact, you are confused. Is it's, not true? It's true, sir. Eh? So I'll pray for you. In Jesus' name. Come on. Ouch. Come on. Come on. Confession. You are free. You know, confusion can make someone to lie to you. And when you pray for someone who's confused, it's worse. You, this is the problem we are having today. We are praying with people. They are confused. I've finished. I'm alone. But there's still someone there. And here you are searching. If this man, I want to tell you now, if this one wants to marry, he must stop that relationship. There. If you want to marry here, and that's where God will open doors for you. But God will never, because there you, you have promised each other, there's something you did together. You understand? Eh? This issue of vowing, yeah. you vow that you'll be together. I actually wanted to marry her, but... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I, that I, you I, vow that you will be together. Now, you need to cut this if you want to go there, if you want to marry someone here. Okay, sir. And uh, that's why everything is not working for you now. If you can see, even the ministry is not working. Yes, sir. Eh? Yeah, because you cannot look this side and look that side. But you are free now. Amen. Let me get some. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Uh, my name is Triumph Irorere. I come from Nigeria. I, I, live, I live here in Tekani. Today you received a word of prophecy from Apostle. Can you tell us what he has said to you and also confirm it? Yes. I, the, that prophet told me, apostle told me that, he said, who want to be delivered? I raise up my hand and that I want to get married. So as I stood up, prophet told me that I have somebody in my country. Of course, it's true, 100%. And I, her name is Ejiro. We were together in relationship, but as... God will have it. We broke up, but I intended to travel, so I traveled down to South Africa. So I got here for many years, for over a year and plus. We never talked, but I found that sometimes he came up on Facebook, sent me the number, then we talk on WhatsApp. We keep communicating. From there, I found that I'm no longer hearing from her. I stopped communicating with her, so that was what was happening. I never know that that was what was affecting me getting married, but I know that she's carrying on with her life, but I don't know how she's living her life right now. So the prophet said I must stop communicating if I want to get married. So that is what came, and I believe that God has settled my issue. And he also mentioned the fact that uh, you made a vow with this person. Is that true? Uh, you know, in the process of relationship, you can decide to tell somebody I want to marry you. I actually told her that I want to marry her. And I went to see her mother, but she was not ready. So when I found out that she was not ready, so I decided to say, okay, I'm back not traveling. When she heard that I was traveling, 
become a problem. So she becomes serious. So that was that time it was too late. So I'm, I'm already on my way. So that's that was the vow. There's no other vow. And how did that affect you? It affected me because uh, as I'm here, sometimes I, I'm lonely. Even at my age, I'm not yet married. So when I have tried to approach a lady, I look at them seriously, but I, I'm not sure they're going to take me serious the way I want. So I'm scared of getting a lady. And I'm, to get a lady here, I'm looking around. I can't see my tie, the one that will fit into what I really desire. So that has affected me a long way. So stranded me moving my ministry. I, I couldn't do anything. So that's why I'm, I'm here to seek solution. And thank God God found me today. And were you praying about this? Ah, seriously, that has been a major prayer. And uh, it has led me confused that I don't know where to go, right or left. So I just came here for direction. And thank God I was located. And I believe God has given me direction today. Everything is going to work for my good. As I know there the problem is, and I've been prayed for, and I know I've told me the solution what to do, to cut up the talk, then I believe my solution has been given to me. Praise be to God.